How's it going guys? This is Eric back again with another video and today I'm going to be showing you 10 tips and tricks to further improve your user experience with your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Now we're just going to be going over a couple of settings and stuff like that as far as uh, customization of your phone. So uh, let's get right down into it. So I made a list right here. So the first on the list is going to be the media volume limiter warning. And we're going to go to settings and vibrations for that. So we're going to go to settings and sounds and vibrations and to volume. And what this does is when you go to turn up your volume on your phone, whenever you plug in headphones, you get that pesky little warning saying uh, it's too loud. And you can sort of get, you could get rid of that if you click on the here and you go to volume, you click on the three dot menu, hit media volume limiter and make sure that that's on and you want to set the limit all the way up to the max that way when you go to turn on your volume and you won't get that warning anymore so that's a really really cool feature to get rid of that annoying uh, warning so next thing on the list is adaptive sound and what this does is this goes through a series of beeps and sounds to determine whether or not you can hear them and it adjusts the uh, the sound of your phone that way it's to your liking so we're going to go to settings and vibrations for that as well the settings sound and vibrations and we're going to just go all the way down in the bottom to sound quality and effects and we're going to go to the bottom to adapt sound and there's three presets depending on age the higher you go the louder your 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 audio would be coming out of your headphones and you could also personalize it to where it'll play a series of beeps and noises to determine whether or not you can hear them. So that's that's another little nice feature. And it also improves the audio quality of your device too, if you like to listen to music and stuff. But that's I have that activated, so that really comes in handy. So next on the list is going to be iris unlock when screen turns on instead of having a swipe. So we're going to go to settings and lock screen and security. So we go to settings, lock screen, and security, and we're going to go to iris scanner. You know the iris scanner, and then you're going to go down to the bottom where it says iris unlock when screen turns on. So when you have that clicked, and you lock your phone, you just unlock it just by looking at it. You don't have to do an extra swipe to unlock your phone. As soon as the screen comes on, it'll scan for your eyes and it'll unlock your phone for you. So that's a really, really cool feature as far as getting into your phone easier without having to do extra gestures on that screen to unlock your phone. So uh, next on the list is going to be face widgets. And what this allows you to do is when you double tap on your always on display, it gives you a series of widgets that you could scroll through, whether it be your next alarm, your schedule, or if you're playing music, it'll control your music player. So what we're going to do on that is we're going to go to, uh, we're going to go to settings and lock screen and security. So we're going to go to settings. We're already in lock screen and security we're going to go to settings and we're going to go to lock screen and security and we're going to click on information and face widgets right there and then you want to click on face widgets and this brings up the types of widgets that you could include and you could also reorder them to your liking as well so that's another cool feature i find myself using especially when playing music uh, these other ones i don't really use that much but you can still enjoy the music player or the other ones if you prefer those so uh, next on the list is going to be a given, uh, which is changing your nav button. So we're going to go to settings and display on that one. We go to settings and display and scroll down to navigation bar. Now everybody probably already knows about this, but uh, for the people, for those of you who don't, I'm going to go ahead and show you anyways. So what this does is this changes the layout of your nav buttons on the bottom to where you have it the Samsung way which is recent home and back and if you're uh, coming from any other phone you know that uh, 
the normal Android where he's back home recent. And I like that we were able to change that. We're not locked into the uh, capacitive buttons like you have on the regular, you know, S7, you know, as far as the capacitive buttons on the side. So that's a really, really cool feature right there. And uh, you could also uh, change the sensitivity of your home button. You could uh, change your nav button color to any color of the palette right here to uh, match whatever theme you have or anything. Right now I have it to where it's to the theme. And you could also unlock with the home button. So those are some features with the nav bar and your on-screen buttons right there. So next on the list is going to be edge lighting notification and what this does is this creates a light going around the edge of your screen if you like to set your phone flat on a table it'll have a lighting effect whenever you get a notification so for that we're going to go to settings and display and then we're going to go down to edge screen and keep in mind that this is also the area uh, you want to keep track of if you want to change your edge panels as far as uh, reordering them or downloading downloading some more and stuff like that so we're going to go to edge lighting and what this does is this like i said it lights up the edge of the screen you could have three settings either when the screen is on when the screen is off or always i have mine when the screen is off and you manage all your notifications you want to activate this feature right here on manage notifications pretty much any app that you prefer will activate this feature so that's another unique, cool uh, setting right there. So uh, next on the list is the floating camera button. Um, I really like this because it makes it convenient as far as where to take it, as far as taking pictures. And what this does is this puts a little uh, virtual button anywhere on your screen to where you could snap a photo. So if you're taking a selfie and you have to hold your phone up and like that, we all know it's kind of hard to get down there. Your phone always ends up tilting forward. So you can move this up and you could take better pictures like that. So that's a really, really cool feature right there. And the way you activate that is you're going to go to your camera settings and you're going to go down to floating camera button and make sure that that's clicked on right there. And that's a cool feature I really enjoy using. So uh, next on the list is fingerprint gestures and you're going to go to settings and advanced features. So we're going to go back to the settings and we're going to go to advanced features. And what this allows you to do is uh, when you swipe down on your fingerprint gesture, you're able to bring down your notification panel. You swipe up, you can get rid of it. So that's brought on over by the uh, Google Pixel, which is a really, really nice feature that, that Samsung included. And uh, you just want to switch this on. And you could also open Samsung Pay when you swipe up on it if you use Samsung Pay. So that's a nice little advanced feature right there. So uh, next on the list is going to be a part of the theming as far as theming your phone. So next on the list is a Samsung theme store. So we're going to go to Samsung themes. And here is where you have hundreds of like wallpapers. You got whole bunch of themes and icons that you could download to change the look of your phone as far as customizing it. You have a ton of wallpapers to choose from. Uh, they range from free to a dollar to two, uh, to $2 in price. And you could also go to your themes and they have featured top and new as far as themes go. And like I said, these range from 99 cents to about 250. Um, but there's a lot of free themes on here too. Like right now I'm using a free theme called material black to where it blacks out everything on your settings, you know, your notification, notification panel and everything. And if you don't like the icons, you could also go and download some icons as well. If you use the, uh, touch with home. So if you download a theme and don't particularly like the icons or the wallpaper, you can change that and customize it. To whatever you want and you also have a new feature which are already always on displays and these are sort of little pictures that will get put into your always on display to further customize your phone and like i said these run 
anywhere between 79 89 to 99 cents and some of them are free so that's another cool feature as far as customizing your phone and making it your own another way to customize your phone is adding a custom launcher such as Nova or Action Launcher or the uh, Pixel Launcher, whichever launcher you desire to use. And right now I'm using Nova Launcher. So what this allows you to do is have gestures on your home screen to swipe down and bring down your notification panel. Since our phones are so tall, it makes it a lot easier to check out your notifications just by swiping down. And it also gives you the same feature that TouchWiz Launcher on this phone gives you. When you swipe up you have all your apps and you actually get to scroll like this instead of side to side which is really annoying and uh, you also have double tap if you want to set it to go to your settings or stuff like that so this gives you an endless amount of customization you could change your desktop grid and right now I have it at six by five you can do five by five you know stuff like that um, you could change your icon layout the size of your icons the uh, coloring of the uh, labels um, you could go on over to your apps drawer you could change the background of your app drawer to match your theme you could also change the grid layout as well of course uh, you also have folders that you could change the backgrounds right now I have the pixel launcher on that uh, you got look and feel which if you download a theme from the market you could apply that use right here on look and theme right now I'm using the pixel IP icon pack and uh, you could change your animation speed and all that. And I noticed that uh, using Nova Launcher, my phone is a little bit more snappier as far as hitting that home button and going straight home. What I've heard that some people have a delay whenever they hit that home button, there's a delay before it takes you home. So that might be an advantage of using a third party launcher is it'll make your phone quicker. So uh, we're going to go back to settings and then gestures and this is where you use the uh, swipe up for your notif for your app drawer or your swipe down for your expand of the notifications. So that's a really, really cool feature. And as far as uh, the uh, swiping up on the desktop, as far as page indicator, you're going to want to indicate none. And as far as... Uh, I believe it is look and feel. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not that one. It might be apps. So right here, you're gonna have the swipe indicator to where it'll show the little arrow on there and then uh, to swipe to open as far as having this little arrow on the bottom and then swiping up to open your app drawer. So those are just some uh, extra tips on fully customizing your phone and to making it your phone and as far as the uh, tips on having to use it it'll give you more of a better user experience and make you enjoy your new galaxy s8 or s8 plus more than you already are and i'll post a link to a uh, nova launcher just in case you guys want to check that out and a link to my widgets up top right now i'm using hd widgets and this gives you a possible an endless amount of uh customization when you want to change your widget as far as using different themes and different colors to changing your your clock and your weather on there so i'll post that in the link below and hope you guys enjoyed the video and be sure to uh, subscribe and i hope you like this video and i will see you guys on the next one